Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Hey, we're playing Chained Echoes. Um, we are going here, uh, and we're gonna, I guess, have a bunch of conversations with Lenny or something. I don't know. Um, I was kind of thinking about um, what I wanted to do for this episode, and I had some things I wanted to talk about, but then I realized this might be kind of a dialogue-heavy episode. So we'll find out. Let's go. These don't look like entrances. None of these gentlemen want to speak with me. <laughs> oh, hello? We are grateful that you brought her highness back. Prince Frederick hasn't been himself after she vanished. Ooh, we got our... Uh... Our castle music. Now that the princess is back, I'm going to make an extra effort to keep the place in good shape. While she was gone, I literally couldn't even care. So you're the guy who returned her highness, right? <laughs> I've been told you're allowed to visit her, but this area is off limits, you understand? Okay. Hey, what's that? Hmm. Can I get back there in a sneaky way. Oh, that's the wrong way. All right, well. Huh. Bum, 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 bum. This is another really, really good one. This castle theme. Um, okay. Well, can't go that way either. The princess has a sweetheart. She has a sympathetic ear for everyone. Oh! Look, you dropped all the good dishes. Don't think because you've returned that I'm going to handle you with kid clubs. You will make up for all the work you missed. Do you understand? Hmm. Answer me. What kind of behavior is this? I hope you remember your status. Here at court, by order of His Majesty the King, you have no more rights than a common servant. Yes. I'm sorry. Wow, that stinks. What are you staring at? Be gone. Watch your tongue. He is the princess's guests. Apologize. Sorry. Hmm. That stinks. He's like a ward. There's no map here. I'm so glad her highness got home safely. We have a mystery around here. Jazz is gonna keep trying to get me to play with her. Oh, and this time she has Bubbo Ju- Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried to grab Bobo Jr. Hey, come here. This is Bobo Jr., son of Dr. Bobo. Um, I tried to grab Bobo Jr. and I grabbed her ear by mistake. Okay, I don't know if that's where I'm supposed to- Well, I can go in there. Um, oh, well, I better be able to come back here some point in the game. Boop, 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 boop. Partisan. That's cool. Oh, what are this? Oh, hello. Oh, she's painting. Who goes? Ah. Oh. What are you doing here? Is it about the reward? My brother will take care of it tomorrow. No, I'm just here to visit you and see how you're doing. You are? This this is kind of you. Thank you. I had no idea you were so interested in art and so talented, too. It's nothing but a pointless pastime. They all show the same motif. A huge tree on a flying island. What is this place? Well, have you ever played this game Chrono Trigger? There's this one. No, I'm just kidding. A place I have to go to. That you 
have to go to? It might sound silly, but it follows me in my dreams. It appears in my mind's eye and wants me to visit it. I don't know where it is, though. I see it in memories that are not mine. I try to capture it on paper to get an answer, but it doesn't seem to work. Your echo, then? My echo? Remember how Dimebert explained to us that after death, the soul leaves the body and dissolves into the maelstrom. My mother once told me sometimes the soul doesn't completely dissolve. If these remnants flow into a new living being, it's possible that one keeps memories of a previous life. You mean to tell me this place in the paintings is an echo from my previous life? Maybe. This place could have been your home. I wonder if I had a better life then. I know I shouldn't complain. People are suffering all over the realm, and here I am protected from all that, but still, still I'm so unhappy. It makes me feel ashamed. I, I think everyone has their own problems to deal with. I don't think you can weigh that. <laughs> Every time I film in the morning, she just wants to play. I wish I wasn't born a princess. Tell me, Glenn, why do these rooms here feel so much tighter than anywhere else? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Her eyes are so cold when she talks to me. Yet with him... This boy seems pretty close with, to the princess. You do not look pleased. Sir Gwain. He is one of their companions. An interesting boy, I must say. He is the only one who did not want gold as a reward. What then? Information about the Grand Grimoire. Who would voluntarily forego a reward in gold? Is he a spy? A rather simple-minded one when he asks us directly to our faces about the grimoire. We should take care of him, but not in the princess's presence. While you're at it, deal with the whole troop. I knew it. I knew he was going to... Mm. As you command, General Godfrey has returned, by the way. Very good. Start the procedure immediately. I will, after the general has sobered up. Do not too wait to... But, mm. Do not wait too long. We must not give Ascania too much time. Ugh, itchy nose, just like usual. Oh, back! I can do without curves. They are unnecessary. Curves? Oh, come on. They are the most deadly weapons of all. That depends on where you use them. Where? What does that have to do with anything? Well, your katana with the curved blade is suitable for slash attacks that cause a deep cut. They are not suitable for thrusting attacks. However, if every soldier in Volandis is running around in heavy armor, a thrust is more effective than a slash, making the great sword superior to the katana. In Volandis, for all I care, <laughs> they still live in the past. Plate armor is on the retreat. The only thing that justifiably wears such armor nowadays is sky armor. And believe me, you do not want to face them with a great sword. I saw him! Sir Victor's coming! You act like a kid waiting for his presence, Glenn. Well, I do hope he brings the reward. I am already getting gray hair. Prince Frederick said we'll be given it tomorrow. Sir Victor! <laughs> there you all are. Ow! Hey, buddy, that was my finger. Um, uh, this is supposed to be the best in it. You know, I don't like that. What's a good voice for this guy? He's got a beard. He's... Oh, this is supposed to be the best inn in town. You got screwed. The ale tastes like... Doo-doo. Barkeeper. Amber ale. Oh, my. Bah! Disgusting. This bland watery aroma. Oh, one more. No, wait. Bring me three right now. It's going down like water. Who is this guy? A good friend and the real reason why I'm in Volandis. This is Cameron, a scientist at the Court of Terran. And this one here is Bethraz, also a friend of mine who helps me out with the more dangerous stuff. Ah! It's you. What are you doing here? Oh, you know each other. Looks like you've made it to Tormund. We're surprised. We? If your goal was Tormund, anyway... Why didn't you accompany me to the end, hmm? You do remember that we are working for money. If you can't pay us, why should we act as your bodyguards? Is that all you can think of? I hope you have deep pockets, Sir Victor. 
like Sienna's any different. Anyway, he will accompany me through Valendis. Can we focus on the main topic? Of course. What is the main topic? Hmm. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this before, but the real reason I'm in Valandis is the Grand Grimoire. And I'm here telling you this because we need your help. Oh, capital! He reminds me of Hero Upon Ricky, if Hero Upon Ricky were like a president of the United States from the 1890s. <laughs> look at Look at that facial hair. Or like a Civil War general. <laughs> Victor, are you sure this is a good idea? Sure, they might be experienced fighters, but we could fight others in the Adventurer's Guild. I trust them. Dude, we're in the Adventurer's Guild, dude. Doesn't mean that we have to explain everything to them. We need their muscles, not their brains. Cameron, what's this all about now? I explained it to you earlier, and you agreed to it. <laughs> now, don't keep us in suspense. All right, all right. I will take the time to answer your questions. At least while these cops are still full. Hello? Someone... Someone is... I just pointed as if you could see my finger. Someone is... Sneaky in the window there. Cameron is responsible for the Grand Grimoire and has been studying it for several years. Nasty thing. Contains endless secrets and has tremendous destructive power. You've seen you brrr, you've seen what it is capable of, which is why Cameron and I want to destroy it. You want to destroy the Grimoire? The Grand Grimoire is the weapon of the gods. No man should ever hold it in their hands. We must destroy it before more lives are lost. I will help you, Glenn. Wait for their explanation first. And keep your voices low. If anyone finds out about this, we'll be hanging from the gallows. So, what do you want to know about? Where did the stone come from? An old text of the fifth epoch. It is briefly referred to as the weapon of the gods, but then it is no longer mentioned. Until about five years ago, the stone laid in Terran's treasure chamber. There it was kept as a mere piece of jewelry until Gwen discovered its potential. Gwen? He was also in the throne room, the man with the white hair and different colored eyes. Gwen is the prince's advisor and a colleague of Cameron. He is also an old acquaintance of mine. We both studied in Misa. So the man is an AR. Unfortunately, he does not share Cameron's concern for the stone's power. He is trying to use it for this war as effectively as possible. We ran experiments with the stone five years ago. Its power was Frightening, beastly frightening. I spoke out against its use, but the king of the council were unanimously against me. And then, well, then that happened with Wernshire. Why was the stone there? Darren had defeated Gravos and taken the city. The place was crawling with their own soldiers. Honestly, I don't know why the prince kept it there and what he intended to do with it. Hmm. Now the stone is back in Tormund and will be used in the upcoming battle. Uh, this is certain. Yes, preparations are being made right now. So what do you want to know about? How do we destroy it? This is the problem. We do not know. The Grand Grimoire is used by smashing it. This triggers a tremendous explosion. Only in a radius of three meters around the stone, nothing happens in order to protect the user. That's why Killian and I survived the explosion. Afterwards, the gemstone reassembles itself and can be used again, which means you cannot destroy it in any normal way. Oh boy, I was holding that one off for, for like five minutes. <laughs> what else do you want to know about? Well, the Grand Grimoire really is the more powerful version of an ordinary Grimoire. Those gems are able to store and release energy. They can be found in old geological layers, generally formed in places with higher ether deposits. The largest Grimoire I found in nature is as big as a thumb. However, the Grand Grimoire is the size of a fist. We do not believe that it was created naturally. Someone created it? We do not know, but a similar stone is mentioned in the history of the Fifth Epoch. The gods used it as a weapon to destroy the entire regions and to initiate the apocalypse. Luckily, they refrained from doing so, that we, so that we humans are still alive in the Seventh Epoch. Exactly, but we are not here for history lessons. Do you have any further questions? If that is all your questions, now it just so happens that a few weeks ago I made a little progress and therefore called Victor to Philandis. 
The royal house keeps a list of all the gifts that are given to the king on various occasions. On such a list, I actually found the rainbow-colored grimoire. A monk named Nalkilber from the Kindred Monastery brought it as a gift more than 50 years ago. This monk is probably no longer alive, but the monastery still exists. And that's where you come in. You plan to go there and you want us to accompany you. Exactly. The monastery is located in the east and has been abandoned for decades. Instead of monks, there are now monsters living there and we need some capable adventurers to protect us from them. All the while you are searching for information about the Grand Grimoire and this Nalgilber. Yes, information such as where did the stone come from and how did it come into possession of this monk. We might even find a way to destroy it. We'll help you. You don't need to pay us. Hey, hey, hey. Speak for yourself. The stone's not my concern. Without a reward, I'm not lifting a finger. That reasoning sounds familiar. But why are you telling us all this? Don't you put yourself in danger by sharing such explosive information? I do not understand this either. I have my reasons. I just can't name them. I'm sorry. He's Gandalf, man! It doesn't matter. Thanks to your trust, you've gained a new comrade in arms. Let me help you. Oh! Spooky man left. What was that? I swear I saw someone outside of the window. Uh-oh! Oh, Kraith. Stop. You there at the table. What is it? Drop your weapons and surrender. You're under arrest. What? For what reason? You should know it too well, spies. There must be a misunderstanding. Do you know who you're talking to? The gallows away. Move, now! Looks like we will have to fight our way out. I haven't even finished my ale. Oh, boy. What's my team? Interesting. So I don't have Lenny or Rob, but I do have Bethraz. Um, huh. I think I'm going to swap. Sienna and Killian, but I'll move Killian back in if I need to. Okay. Skills! No, not that. There we go. Oh, no, only Bethraz. Oh, he has two. Dispel. Magical neutral attack dealing damage based on number of summons. That's right. Grants one time summon. I don't know. That's kind of cool. Maybe just normal attack up. Raises TP gain through normal attacks by 10. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that because... Oh, let's... No, I can get two. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Fight! Okay, here we go. Um... Let's just do a normal attack to start. Zonk. Ow. Bom, bom, bom. Okay. Nice. We'll do Poetic March. I want to stay in overdrive. I need to use this elevator. Ow! Okay. Let's see what this guy has. Nothing. Bonk! Okay. Hmm. Got bleed. Pedal storm is active. Wide slash. Ow. I'm gonna do poetic march just to. Get, you know what? No, I need to heal all. But that's. Ugh. Crud. 
Bethraz is already in bad shape, but that takes us down. Oh, it changed. Oh, good. Zonk, zonk. Nice. Let's see if I can bonk, bonk. Yes. Where to go, Glenn? Zip, zap, zoop, de bop. Excellent. Ow. Hi, buddy. She's back. Bum, 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 bum. That's nice. Oh, Bethraz. He perish. Hi, bud. Um. You know what? No, I'll bring him back. Um. <laughs> she drops the thing at my feet. I think this will get him, actually. Yeah. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. She drops it at my feet, but then when I reach for it, she picks it back up. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, man. Burr, burr. Um. Jazz, you need to give me a second while I deal with this. Um... <sighs> this stinks. I mean, if he does wide slash again, Victor's toast. <laughs> mm. Okay, we need to just get rid of this guy. Ah! Okay. Bonk. Nice. Got him. Okay, everybody's back. There are more outside. Why are they here? They couldn't have known about our meeting here. They called us spies. Didn't Glenn ask the prince for information about the grimoire as a reward? Yes, but is that a problem? Hailing from Farnsport and collecting information about a super weapon. Maybe that was not the smartest idea. You honestly asked about the stone! No more talking. Let's leave this place and head for the monastery. But we have not negotiated the payment yet. Then stay here if you prefer. The gallows are free. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Um, Escape Terran soldiers seems to be over there. Oh, stop right there, spies. Okay, here we go. Let's try to do this one a little better. That's not who I wanted to attack, but the drift got me again. Zonk! Oh. Let's X slash this loser. How much time I got? Um... Ah, man. This is... <laughs> Ooh. Bonk! That's cool. Yo. Okay. Hmm. Let's armor break this guy. And then we'll Yoko Girl and maybe get rid of the bottom dude. Ah, nope. Rats. Ah! 
Oh, well, now he's gone. Bonk. Okay. We'll do this because it'll take us down. It'll give us some attack. Yes. Rock'em, sock'em, Glenbots. Excellent. Ah. Thought that might get him. But no. Bonk. I should have done that to the other guy. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Boop. Okay, good. Yeah, baby. Dark spear. Bonk. Got him. Okay. Let's hope we're going the right way. You cannot escape. Yo, you guys, you guys are about to be losers. <laughs> hmm, now we are in the overdrive. Okay, oh yeah. Oh, you are about to lose. Dong, 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 dong. Physical attack is only two point. Interesting. That's expensive. Doesn't matter. This guy's done. No, he's not. <laughs> now he's done. Bye. Oh. Ah. We're in good shape. We're in good shape here. I summoned another weapon. Bonk. Okay. Boop. Nice. Man. Might swap out Sienna. She's nearly out of TP here. Let's break his defense. Ah, I thought I could get rid of him. I should have gotten rid of him instead of trying to be a. Okay. That that's the exact opposite of what I meant to do, but. Ow. Burn. Okay. Ah, now we're overheated. I messed up. Ah. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Too many summons. Too many summons. <laughs> That's a reference to too many cooks. Okay. Yeah. Brr. Okay, got him. Cool, 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 cool. Oh. All right, that's the wrong way, apparently. Oh, not again. Not again. This is the end of the line. Nice. Got a crit. Let's just do normal until we get into overdrive. Ow. Yeah, that wide slash move is good. Nope, I don't want to be... We are single-handedly are decimating Tormund's 
city guard. <laughs> That's no good. For them! There's my sweetie girl. Oh, she bumped the table. That's why it shook like an episode of Star Trek. Get rid of this loser. Yes. What a fool you are. Bum, 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 bum. Heavy makes earth better. Maybe I'll try that sometime with uh, uh, Zoopadoo. Burp. Yeah, Glenn's not bad. I, I love that his specials um, are, are so debuff. Um, it's really good. Yes, Petal Storm is back. Yo! Nice. Way to go, Glenn. Boop, 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 boop. I wanted to use Petal Storm, and it gave him an extra turn, and that didn't end up hurting me too much. Oh, I will restore TP to you, but it's mostly about the overdrive meter. Okay, this is fine. Oh, it didn't get him. Ah, Bingus. Brindenburg. Now he's gone. Now he's gone for sure. Too many sabins. Break his armor. Break it upon the rocks. Nice. Man, it's so cool to me how um, a pretty average battle can still be, uh-oh, uh, can still be, like, somewhat technical because of the overdrive meter. I I don't know that I'll get over it. A dead end. Ooh, bloody hell, I can't go on anyway. Oh, boy. Your struggle ends here. Let us buy you some time. Move on. Stop! I mean, stop! Stop this immediately! Stay out of this, or else... Princess? Leave them alone. They are my guests. Unfortunately, we cannot do that. We have orders from the general to arrest them. You dare to put the word of a general above that of your princess? Be gone, I command you baseborn knaves. Let's go and report this to the general, or we'll be in trouble. Lanny! Princess, my goodness, you have my gratitude. No need. We overheard your conversation at the inn. You have... Princess, you must not misunderstand. I do not want to be tricked, Darren. It's just that the Grand Grimoire is too dangerous. I know. You may continue to follow your plan, and I will not tell anyone about it, but only under one condition. And what is that? You take Rob and me with you. Are you cra... I mean, that's impossible, Princess. Then I cannot let you go. Why do you want to come? The world outside is calling for me. I don't want to stay here waiting for my brother to shatter Volandis into pieces. I'd rather stop him now than collect the shards of a broken kingdom later. For Volandis and its people, I must act. The Princess, as you have already noticed, is a capable fighter who wields magic. And Rob's skills as a ranger will certainly be useful to us. I would rather not involve the princess in a dangerous journey such as this. I know, but you do not have a choice. You either take me with you or you stay here. It is not a request, but a command from your princess. <laughs> That's certainly a new character trait I hear there. All right, Lenny and Rob, we'll head out together. The monastery is located in the northeast of the flower fields of Perpetua. If we have preparations to make in Torment, we should proceed unobtrusively. It is possible that the soldiers will return. Then let's move quick. I have not seen such fire in your eyes for a long time. I'm going to close the deal with the grimoire. My hands are trembling in excitement. What about you, Sienna? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm tacking along. It wouldn't be wise to stay here. Also, I haven't gotten my reward yet. Let's discuss the payment on our way out, Sir Victor. Of course, my dear Sienna. Let's head out then. We must leave the city and move through the northeast of the forest. Receive the new crest. Okay. So we gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Apparently. Where would I go? Hey, what's your deal? War is always the top priority everywhere in the world. I mean, where was the part for Wait, what is this? Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, I was trying to go to three, but it's not connected. Okay. I remember some people saying that the... Um... Oh, I don't really want ore. But I could... Let's combine all my crystals. See if we have any weapons to upgrade. Partisan. Oh my gosh, that's so much better than the Shashlik. Yeah, enhance that, baby. Oh, I gotta give him the recurve bow. Um why yes I can. Okay. The Wakizashi is already there. Bidenhanda. Which will swap to our boy. Okay. See if we can upgrade some armor here. Yeah, we've got plenty of money. Okay. Man, we've still got this this big lion boy. L big big lion boy. That's my favorite Mumford and Sons song. Uh, <laughs> Raven cloak. Let's make it better. Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, let's see. Ooh, yeah, we can make the partisan better. Ooh, we can up the attack. Cool, cool, cool. Um, oil str Ooh. Well, she's the only one with fire, so I probably shouldn't use that for her. Um... Silence resistance, SOS mind up. Strike first. Let me use that for somebody else. Ow! Hey! She just bit me! You little jerk! <laughs> she was like, pay attention to me! Um, let's do a different weapon here. Um. Oh, you. Let's do 15%. Oh, not great. Um, oh, you know what? I can give somebody TP up with just one thing. Let's give him HP up. Yeah, more TP for my boy. Got any armor? Dark resistance, maybe? Hmm. Maybe 
oil strike? Let's do that. And... Metal Jerkin! Got plenty of slots left here. Let's go... Um... Let's go for... Well, no. He's not... He's not a magic user, so that doesn't really... Let's... Ah, yeah. Let's put the silence resistance on what Beardman has. Let's go attack up on the Partisan. And... Let's give the oil strike to this man. Cool. Um, ooh. This guy won't let me sell just normal stuff. I don't have any. Can I sell some other things? No, I want to sell my sellables. Herbal color. What does herbal color do? Ooh, the charm of the learner. I need to figure out what those are all about. So I've got some... Oh, that's right, I got that cool gauntlet. Yo. Let's equip. Thanks for hanging out with me while I do all this menuing. Um, he's got an herbal color. Life thread. What does magician's belt do? It ups her mind by one, lowers her crit chance. That might actually be good. It just ups his hit points. Mine, it's not that great, honestly. Um, the Shimmering Garb ups some of his stats and takes his TP down only by two, so let's go with that. Oh, what a comfy scarf. Oh, that's right. I want to give her the Bindhanda. Right? Yeah, way better. Rob. Good. I don't know what... Tra hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. She's... Uh, psst. Now you're just getting in trouble. She wants my attention really bad. Okay. Um. Here we go. Right? No. Wait. Where's the guy who lets me sell all my nonsense? Because I have just a bunch of, like... Sellable stuff. No, okay. I don't need any of these. Don't need any of this. Um. What the deuce? Oh, no. That guy doesn't have anything to sell. No, for real. Why can't I sell my, uh... My silly stuff. My stuff that's only for selling. Am I missing something?
I must be. Because these are just materials. Yeah, I don't understand. Huh. Buddy. Pack of gold nuggets. Well, I guess I won't be doing that then. Maybe it doesn't want me to right now, I guess. I don't know. Um, oh, I do need to buy uh, rats. Actual accessories. Um, I don't want any of these things. Actually, maybe I do. <laughs> All right. Well, I just bought some stuff. Oh, I can sell this old glaive. Um. Oh, no. Don't sell the partisan. But I'll sell the longbow. I'll sell the Boken. Sell the Claymore. That wasn't very good at all. Um, did I not give everybody the correct... I thought I equipped everybody. Maybe it was just... Okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. All right, we did it. We done did it. And we got to get out of here. Nope, that's not the way. Boo! Um... Okay, the groups on their way reached the monastery's library to the east of the Fjord Woods. No, give me the map. This is the Fjord Woods, is it not? Um, can I? Okay, I can go there. Oh, you know what though? I don't think I ever went this way. It didn't let me. Ah, that's right. It didn't let me go that way the first time. Um, so this is kind of unexplored territory. Ooh, there's some big bad boys. I gotta get going. This has been a chunky episode. Um, I gotta do some work, but we'll be back tomorrow with more Pete Plays. Get a little safety save in here. Nope. Yes. There we go. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time uh, on P-Place for more Chained Echoes. Bye.